So what do you do with your hair on the trail? Some of you guys don't have a concern with us, but ladies and you long-haired gentlemen might. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. Stay tuned. So it's another crazy cold day in Georgia, and I know I have been saying that in my last few videos, but this has been a really bizarre winter. It's super cold. We've got way more snow than usual. Some years we don't have any at all. And uh, seems like a great day to stay indoors and talk about what to do with your hair on the trail. Not just hair on your head, but hair in other places. So as you can see, my hair is kind of medium long. I, I used to wear it really short. And I met a girl last summer who had shaved her entire head before starting the Appalachian Trail. And she was young and she could rock that look, but I don't think I can. <laughs> uh, I used to, I'll show you a picture if I could find it, but I uh, used to wear it super, 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 super short. And I don't wanna go there. So I have the dilemma now of what do I do with this mess? And um, I know some of you guys just cut it short, some of you women just cut it short and away you go, but I like my length and I think it would actually be easier to probably just take a couple of hair ties and braid my hair, uh, which will work for the most part every day on the trail. I can um, French braid, which is great, and I can just put it up that way every morning, comb it out, and I think I'll be pretty much good to go. However, I am not as blonde as I used to be. I have to confess, this is not all God-given color. <laughs> and so I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do on the trail. Do I wanna just let those roots grow out and um, start really looking my age, or do I wanna do something else? And I don't really trust just rolling into a trail town and finding a salon and have them do my cut and color. So I probably won't even get a cut at all while I'm on the trail. But I will do my own color, and one advantage of that is when I put that in the um, my resupply boxes, which I'm going to do a video on, so you can see what's going in those. Um, it comes with a nice little um, conditioner, which I really like, and so I probably won't carry a full tube of this on the trail because it's kind of heavy. But if I use maybe half of it when I'm coloring my hair and I want to take the rest, so when I'm in a hostel and I'm showering, I will have some conditioner that I can take, which will be handy for me. Uh, particularly because my hair tends to be really really dry uh, so that's my plan for my hair and you know I don't have to wash it because it's dry I don't have to wash it like every day or every other day like some people do so so that's a, a blessing for me but when I do wash it all I need to do is really just kind of comb it out so I bought a little inexpensive lightweight set comb and brush and all I'm gonna take is the comb. I just need to get the knots out. I can do this when it rains and my hair is wet or if I wash it out um, on the trail in a hostel, this will work for me. And maybe I'll take some kind of a treatment to kind of keep some of the frizz out, but um, really we all go out on the trail to get dirty and grungy anyway. So uh, I think for the most part that'll be okay, but um, I don't wanna come home with dreadlocks, so I'm gonna do a little bit of maintenance and you might want to as well. Uh, now the brush is uh, something that I don't need. I know some people who insist on brushing their hair every day. It really depends on the texture of your hair and what you're used to at home, but this is just staying here because I don't need it. Uh, now something else is the shampoo, and I've heard that lots of the hostels do have shampoo, and I guess that's kind of luck of the draw what you get. Uh, I know I'm going to be taking Dr. Bronner's anyway. I've put it into these little tubes, uh, and these will go in my resupply boxes. This stuff is awesome. It's biodegradable, biodegradable. You can even use it as toothpaste if you want to. You can wash your pots, you can wash your body, and you can wash your hair. So if you're looking for things that are multi-purpose, which most hikers are, then this is something that I highly recommend. I got the unscented kind, um, started out with peppermint and realized that there's some places that, um, especially when you're washing up, uh, your body you might not want peppermint so. <laughs> and I've heard that it attracts bears I've also heard it repels bugs I don't know there's lots of uh, pros and cons for peppermint but I just went with unscented um, so this will be in my resupply boxes and I can use it for all the things that I need to use it for so that addresses the issue of hair on my head but everybody's got hair everywhere <laughs> And some of us have more than others. And I know guys, you know, you typically grow out your beard, but women may want to do some grooming, uh, especially if they've got some chin hairs or a little bit of a mustache or something like that. Um, and they may want to shave their legs too. Uh, so a couple things that I found, uh, one is this little tiny grooming tool. And I think it's made for eyebrows. 
Um, it's got a little cover here that I don't know how to work, but there it is. Um, it's just like a little razor thing that I guess you can use to groom your face, your brows, uh, wherever you have some extra little hair. I suppose even it would work on a bikini line if you wanted um, to do a little uh, trimming there, manscaping, whatever you need to do. So these come in a multi-pack on Amazon for like three or four dollars and they're handy to have. I uh, actually heard about these um, through a Facebook group from um, Chica, uh, Sunset and Chica. You guys have probably watched some of their videos. So thank you Chica for mentioning this and uh, look forward to that on the trail to take care of some of my needs. And then also shaving. Um, I know a lot of women let things go natural, but I do not like to be um, too hairy. So uh, I will shave my armpits probably, you know, every couple days and maybe when I roll into town once a week or so, take care of my legs. I know that might be too TMI for some of you, but we're real here. So um, you can just tune out if you, that freaks you out. But um, anyway, so talking about shaving, um, I'm not gonna carry shaving lotion or anything like that. The Dr. Bronner's will work just fine, but these little razors from Bic are, um, they have a hollow handle and this thing weighs next to nothing. In fact, I wrote down the weights just uh, for reference. Um, this is five grams. So, you know, you can throw that in your pack and it's not gonna be a problem weight-wise. Um, my little comb here is only eight grams and this little thing is um, two grams, I think. So, um, being able to, to kind of groom myself on the trail the way I want to is not going to be a, a big weight penalty. And I think just in terms of my own comfort and feeling like a regular human sometimes, <laughs> those are going to be good things to have in my pack. And um, I don't mind getting dirty and grungy with everybody else, but there are times where I just want to feel a little bit fresher. And um, so I want to be able to do that and make sure I have what I need to make that happen. So that's my plan for hair on the trail. I don't know what your plans are, but uh, be interested to hear from you if you'd like to put a comment down below and as always thank you for watching and uh, hope you subscribe and hope you have some happy hiking ahead of you thanks